All right, this one's gonna be on Gallery DL. It is a command line program to download either galleries or images from different uh, websites. Um, so I'll show you what it does here. So Gallery DL, we'll do a dash H for help. And here, if you do a, uh, what's that, list modules here. So let's do that again, paste this here. And this one will tell you like all the sites that it supports. Uh, most of them is for like porn and stuff like that, which is what I use it for. But uh, you know, I can use it for legit mangas too, and even some um, image hosting sites, like you know, Imager, um, so on and so forth. So we're gonna try one of them out, and uh, we'll see how this works. Pretty simple program. Um, so let's go to a site here. And this one is mangastream.com. All right, let's go and download. What is this here? This is the news manga, whatever. I don't know what the hell this is. We'll just copy the link, copy, and really, that's all you gotta do. You do is that gallery dl. We'll put it in quotes just to be safe. And basically, do his job here. Look at that. I'll we'll just grab all the uh, uh, images out of that. And I'll paste it in, or I'll actually put it in a folder, I believe. There you go. It's in your gallery DL and manga stream folder. And this is the manga name, The Promise uh, Neverland. And here's your images that it rips out of that, uh, you know, URL there. And then, you know, you can put it into a uh, zip file and then CBZ it up and all that. And you can load up to your comic program and you can read it from there if you want to do it that way. Anyways, that's basically the program. It's not that hard to use. Um, all it requires is Python 3 and some other dependencies here. But it should work on any system, either Windows, uh, Linux, Mac, whatever. Um, it just requires Python, like I said. Pretty simple, check it out. Uh, you can install it different ways. Uh, there's a pip install, or you can do it manually from their GitHub page, so on and so forth. If you get the idea, and is that it? That's pretty much it for the program, really. Uh, straight from the command line, which is what I like. That'll be it for this one.